First, go to the Save Link page in IDX Broker under Design, Website, and then Save Link. Now, you want to also open the Wrappers link in a new tab. So that way you have the wrappers and the save links side by side. Start by grabbing the first link that you want to work with. And then go ahead and search that save link name in your wrappers list. As you can see, you'll have to go over to the save links wrappers in particular to find it. So when you find the wrapper, then you're going to want to open that in a new tab and edit it with Beaver Builder. So you're going to need to already be logged into your WordPress website as well once you're here. Then you can just hit Beaver Builder at the top. This is just the easiest way to find the wrapper page. Then you can click in those sections and all you really have to do is add in exactly what you want. Right now, Jeff is making the wrapper full width and removing old theme content. So we usually drag in an HTML block so that we can put in those IDX broker dynamic tags. This is really what makes it work properly as a wrapper page. This is usually what we just do to start. After you have that, you can design your wrapper however you like, but you really need that little bit of code in there for everything to work properly. Now to get the old sidebar link, copy the wrapper URL and then search for it. Search for it at web.archive.org is what Jeff is saying. This is going to show you what your old website looked like. This is because we don't have it anymore. You're going to want to click inspect once you get to this page. You want to make sure you're inspecting those links in particular so that you can then copy all of the URLs from one to the other. From here, you're really just building it out again. You want to make sure that you remove the web archive part of the URL. You want to make sure it starts with the HTTPS colon slash slash 55next.com in this case. Now it's just like using Beaver Builder in any other way. You use the style tab for all of your specific styling. General is where you put in the text. Advances where you do kind of the margins and other more complex styling. If you want it to look exactly how Jeff is making it look, then just do exactly what he's doing here. Next, he removed the margins. Mm -hmm. 
easiest thing to do is to just keep duplicating and then you can change the text and the link over and over again. That way you only have to style the button once. Now he also pulled the colors from a different date on the archive.org site. Same thing again, it's easy to inspect to find that color. Now there are also new classes on the customizer. So those can now be added to the buttons and saved on the wrapper. That way we don't have to do it again when we start the next one. So those classes are already there. Now this particular page won't need to be redone because it's already done by Jeff, but you can just do this same thing again. I recommend doing this same process on another page, exactly, to make sure that you have the hang of it. Okay, so then we say publish. Okay, now Jeff is saying that he noticed the sidebar is too large, so he checked the old width and changed the width there in Beaver Builder to match. And then we just have to save the wrapper again and you're good to go. To make sure that you can actually see your changes here, you want to make sure you clear the cache exactly how Jeff is doing. And the wrapper cache on the IDX panel and refresh the page. That way you can be sure that you're going to see your IDX broker page with your new wrapper instead of the old wrapper. Now, since all we did was edit that page, we don't change the URL. We just clear the wrapper cache. And there's our new sidebar.
to make the wrapper creation easier on new pages, this is now a template. So you can just copy this. I still recommend that maybe Kim go ahead and create one the same way that Jeff did in this tutorial, just to make sure that everything makes perfect sense. So if you use the template, it will look like this to start every time. So if you make any changes, you'll have to keep making them to every single one of these as you're using the template. So each page, just keep on doing it. You open the wrapper with Beaver Builder, click on template, Go to the save templates and then find the saved links template with sidebar. Make sure you let it replace the existing layout. Now you would only have to edit the buttons, the links, and text. Again, you can just pull these from the webarchive.org website. That's what we did since the other site is no longer up. And now both of these two pages are completed, so you don't have to mess with them again. And that is our extended Save Link Wrapper tutorial.